S&P 500 and NASDAQ closing at all-time highs. The Dow up, gold up, real estate. Hey everybody and welcome to another TrendSpider technical analysis series video. In this video, we're going to be taking a deep dive into TrendSpider's scripting functionality. Scripting is the backbone of many of the tools on the platform, including the scanner, the strategy tester, the multi-factor alerts, and the trading bots. So let's jump into it. First things first, you can create a script in a number of different places within the platform. But once you've created a script, whether that was done within the scanner, the back tester, the multi-factor alert, or within the scripts button, it can be then used across the rest of the tools on the platform. For the sake of simplicity, we'll create a script using the scripts button here. Once we've created the script, I'll demonstrate how it can be utilized elsewhere on the platform. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click here on the scripts button and it's gonna open up the script manager. On the left here, you'll see all of your currently saved scripts. We're not so interested in those today. Instead, we're gonna be focusing on creating a new script from scratch. In order to do that, we're going to click on the add new option here in the bottom left hand corner. Next, we're going to choose the add parameter here option. And when we click that, we see a drop down menu. We're going to select the condition option in this case, and this is going to open up a secondary drop down menu where we can choose the type of parameter we want to define. You can define indicator conditions, candlestick pattern conditions, price conditions, and even earnings dates or values, dividend dates or values, split dates, news content, and whether or not a symbol is in a particular watch list. Now that we know what our options are, let's next create a set of conditions using a few of those different options. Let's say we want to define a moving average cross, and more specifically, let's say we wanna see the 50 SMA crossing up on the 200 SMA, and maybe we're utilizing the hourly time frame. In order to script that, we'll select first the indicator option. We scroll down and select our time frame next. Gonna grab the hourly here. Next, we have to find the indicator. If I type in simple moving average, I get a couple of different options. If you have the particular moving average already on your chart, it's gonna be listed here. If you don't, you can just utilize the blank listing for a basic simple moving average. Since I have it on my chart, I'm gonna grab the 50 here. Next, we have to define what the 50 is doing. We're gonna search this list for crossed up. And then we have to define the 200. So I'm gonna click indicator, select my time frame for it, and then select simple moving average 200 from the list here. So now I've got the hourly 50 SMA is crossing up on the hourly 200 SMA. Next, maybe we want to give this moving average cross a bit of strength. We could do that in any number of ways, but for the sake of utilizing a different parameter option, let's define some price conditions. Specifically, let's say we want to define that today's high is greater than yesterday's high. So we're making new highs. In order to script that, we're gonna say add parameter here. Again, we're gonna select condition, but now we're talking about price conditions. So we're gonna select the price option. We said we're looking for today's high, so the daily high. I'm gonna grab the daily time frame. And I'm gonna select high. Next, we wanna see it above yesterday, so greater than. And again, we're talking about price, so we're gonna say price, daily, high. So now we've got a candle high is greater than another candle high, but we're looking specifically for today's high being greater than yesterday's. In order to define yesterday's candle, we're gonna use this last functionality here. When I click on where it says last, it comes up with zero candles ago. So last and zero candles ago are the same thing and they're referring to the current candle. If I wanted to define yesterday's high, I need to change this to one candle ago. So now I've got today's high is greater than yesterday's high. Now, let's take this one step deeper. Note right here where it says all of the following. What this means is that both of these conditions must be true. What if, however, we wanted to define another set of conditions in a different way? We can do that by utilizing the condition group option under add parameter here. So we click add parameter here and we select the condition group option. 
you'll note that a secondary condition group appears inside of my larger condition group, and I can define the parameters contained within this condition group in a new way. For example, let's say we want to add a few bullish candlestick patterns. Obviously, a candlestick pattern is unique. A candle cannot be multiple different patterns at the same time. So we're going to have to change the definer here. And we could do that by clicking where it says all of the following. And I'm going to change this to any of the following. And then we can choose a group of different bullish candlestick patterns that we might be looking for. In this case, maybe we're looking for either a hammer, a bullish engulfing candle, or a doji candle. So let's add those. I'm going to say candlestick pattern. Let's go with the hourly time frame again. I'm going to look for bullish engulfing and select it. We're going to add another parameter here, select the condition option. We're going to go back to candlestick pattern and again, select the hourly, but this time we're going to search for dojis. We're going to add those. Let's also add a hammer. So condition, candlestick pattern, hourly, hammer. So now what we're looking for is both of our conditions up here to be true and any of these three conditions down here to be true. If both of these are true, but none of these are true, then we're not going to get an alert or a name is not going to meet the scan criteria or so on. So now we have our script written out. It's looking for a moving average cross with higher highs and any of the bullish candle patterns that we've defined. We can now save this script. We could do that by clicking up here. We're going to change the name. We're going to call this bullish MA cross and say save. We could see that it's listed over here on the left-hand side of our script manager. We now know that it's saved as a script and we can use it across the rest of the platform. For example, if we want to scan for these conditions, we simply click on the market scanner button. Down here, we're gonna select the script actions button and choose the load from template option. Up here, we're gonna search bullish MA cross, click this, and then click choose this script and it's going to load those conditions into our scanner for us. Next, we need to select a scan through list. We need to select uh, whether or not we're utilizing extended hours. And then we want to click this current candle toggle on if we're looking for this occurring right now. Click the scan button. It's going to look for all the names meeting this criteria right now. If you'd like to utilize this script as an alert, Click the three dots next to the alerts and bots button and choose the create multi-factor alert option. Next, click on script actions, say load from template, search bullish MA cross, click here, click choose this script, and now it's loaded those conditions for our alert. We can give this alert a name. We could choose how long the alert is gonna live in our system, how many times we want it to trigger and create the alert. Finally, you'll utilize this exact same process for loading a script into the strategy tester as either entry or exit criteria. Click on the strategy tester button, click on the script actions option, say load from template, again, search bullish MA cross. Choose this script and it loads that script as your entry or your exit criteria, depending on where you put it. Do note that the strategy tester only works on one time frame at this time. So if you've utilized multiple different time frames in your script, they will all switch to a single time frame when you input them into your strategy tester. Last but certainly not least, we can utilize the script in the smart checklist. We could do that by clicking on the sidebar button saying add or remove widgets. At the bottom, we're gonna click add new. We're gonna choose smart checklist and say done. Then up here where it says choose this script, again, we're gonna search bullish MA cross, select it, say choose this script. And now we can know which of these criteria are being met on this name at this particular time. So there you have it folks, a deep dive into TrendSpider's scripting functionality. I hope you found this video helpful, but if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us in chat. As always, happy trading and catch you next time.